American society is rotten to the core, and one symptom of that is that we have the wrong heroes. I am the Philosopher King 2.0. Let me tell you how it is. Like and subscribe if you welcome more cutting-edge, civilization-saving commentary. Do you remember this? Mr. Hope and Change? Accolades and Nobel Prizes before he even did anything? He wanted to transform the country, and people cheered him on, pleased with the notion of change for the sake of change, indifferent to the possibility that it could be changed for the worse. He was, and is, a hero in the eyes of millions. What about this guy, Mr. Make America Great Again? He shook the foundations of the status quo. They hated him so much they invented reasons to impeach him. In the meantime, for millions of Americans, he is their champion. It is a damn shame that our politicians are considered heroes, but don't misunderstand me. Many of them, the best of them at least, really do engage in heroics. It takes an astonishing amount of courage to do what is right in the political arena for the simple reason that in our culture it is now normal to fully destroy our opponents. Politics is now a literal battleground. It takes a hero, or an absolute scoundrel, to stand in that arena and push forward, which is why so few decent people do it. We wonder why we don't have better candidates for office when the stakes are so high, but that is why we don't have better candidates. The stakes are too high. Therein is our mistake. We have allowed far too many intimate matters to be decided by the government. Every little nook and cranny of the human experience is now subject to the determinations of our politicians. Who thought this was a good idea? If the whole fate of the country is decided by who the president is, then the office of the president has too much power. If our politicians have the power to destroy us, checks and balances are no more. If our health and wealth depends on who is in office, that is why we are spiraling into calamity. If our politicians are heroes, the Constitution has failed. Our politicians are heroes, so do the math. I, the Philosopher King 2.0, call upon you to doggedly strip away from the government almost everything it is involved in, and in the gap, you become the hero, bravely making your own decisions and learning from your own failures. Self-government or bust, it is literally just that. Either we collectively turn to individualism, or it's all going to implode. So it has always been in the past, and so it will always be in the future. In a previous video, I argued that the path forward here is to become involved in our local Republican parties, and from there seek to transform the GOP from the inside out. Both parties are corrupt, but only the Republican Party is sympathetic to a libertarian mindset. and only the Republican Party is, practically speaking, able to turn the tide. But I digress. There are, naturally, other examples of people who are heroes that really shouldn't be. Celebrities and sports stars, for example. And there are ordinary people who do dangerous work that we rightly describe as heroes, such as our police officers, firefighters, and of course, soldiers. If this society is to thrive and back away from the brink, you and me need to be the heroes. It is too late to hope that any politician at this moment will vote to reduce the size and scope of the government. So we, the philosopher kings, must step up to do it. We must run for office and we must win. And, having won, we must resist the temptation to solve all our problems via the government. 95% of our problems can be solved by individuals, families, and communities without government involvement at all. But we've grown lazy and selfish, wanting the government to give us goodies and make the hard decisions for us that we don't want to do. Stop it. Everyone thinks that all we need to do is change the people in the government and once our people occupy the positions of power, all will be well. It will never happen. And what will happen will not end well. Frankly, it is too late to save America. We have the wrong heroes, and it's going to doom us. So, as philosopher kings, 
you should be preparing for the inevitable. But I still say it is better to go down swinging. So remember the man in the arena and be that man. Or woman. I am the Philosopher King 2.0. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I have spoken.